In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my top five leather fragrances for December 2023. Number one on this list is going to be one of the most gate kept fragrances that no one likes to talk about because it's just so damn good. It is handsome, elegant, dark, sexy, and mysterious. Even I hesitated to put this one as number one on my list because it is my signature scent. And I wear this five days out of the week without any exaggeration because I absolutely love it. This is my fragrance for life. And one of my favorite leather fragrances out of my whole collection this is coming in from my favorite perfumery house, Guerlain, and this is Queer Intense. <sighs> oh yeah, dark, handsome, sexy, tall, aggressive. This is not for the faint of heart. This is leather, tobacco, oud, osmanthus, ylang ylang, and although not listed, there is some cinnamon in here as well, but this is amazing. You have to be a leather lover for this. This is undeniably masculine. I don't really see this on women. Uh, this is more a masculine scent, for sure a masculine scent, but amazing. If you haven't smelled this, you have to smell this. Again, it is a gate kept fragrance. It is a sleeper of a fragrance. Not a lot of YouTubers like to talk about this one, but I'm talking about this one because this is my signature scent. And of course, for me to make a top five leather fragrance list, I have to put Guerlain Queer Intense as number one on the list because this is my signature scent. If you like the idea of a very, very dark leather, this will not disappoint. An extremely photorealistic impression of a dark, brown leather, very dark, very mysterious, extremely sexy. Check it out, Guerlain Queer Intense. Coming in at number two, of course, from the house of Floris London, this is Leather Oud. Excellent, sartorial, sexy, deep, dark, very dapper, extremely dapper. This is Leather and Oud. I do not like rose and oud combinations. I applaud you if you like rose and oud because it's very, very brave. Those combinations are incredible, but they're not for me. But leather and oud is a matrimony in heaven. The oud is not screechy. It is very well blended, extremely smooth. And the leather as well is very, very smooth. There are some floral aromatics in here too, but they're just to give it that ozonic lift off of the skin that's needed. Very beautiful, extremely sexy, extremely dapper. If you haven't checked out Leather Oud by Floris London, you have to try it, especially if you like that idea of leather and oud as a combination rather than rose oud, which I really never fancied myself. Do try this if you love leather and if you like oud, Put the two things together, you get Leather Oud. Floris London, this is Leather Oud. Coming in at number three on the list, another opulent, very wealthy, extremely regal approach to perfumery from the house of the spirit of Dubai. This is Maidan. Incredible, absolutely incredible. This is wealthy, regal, opulence, a complex formulation. I'm not going to go into detail with all the notes because there's just too many for me to cover, but very, very well blended, silky, smooth leather with incense, just a little bit of sweetness, nothing too feminine, nothing where it's going to make it extremely gourmand. This is perfect. This is really thick, very rich as well. Very rich smelling. A lot of floral aromatics as well. Again, giving it that ozonic quality. There's not a lot of feminine characteristics going on with Maidan. It's amazing. It is masculine. It is sexy. This is more of a romanticized version of leather coming in from a Middle Eastern approach in perfumery. Beautiful, worth it. It is worth it. If you haven't tried this out, you have to try it out. And just be aware that this wears very thick and very heavy, so it does stain clothes, but nonetheless, very beautiful. And just look at the diamonds on the cap of the bottle. This is just one of the most gorgeous aesthetics of a bottle that you can get. Fantastic. The Spirit of Dubai, this is made on. And here we go, the last two. Coming in at number four on the list, this is gonna be from the house of Armani Privé, Queer Noir. Yeah, wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. This is more of a lactonic, creamy leather. So the previous ones that I mentioned in this list, they're a lot more aggressive. They're a lot more sharp, a lot more darker. But this one is very creamy, very, very creamy. Leathery, a little bit of tobacco, and there's some vanilla nuances as well, but it doesn't go gourmand, it's just enough. And there is some sweetness for some fruits. I get off of my nose some plum, a very, very deep, dark, rich and juicy plum, extremely beautiful. And there is a little bit of a medicinal quality going on with this as well, but nothing that's gonna to be too sharp off the nose. Very beautiful, another sleeper of a fragrance. A lot of people do not talk about Queer Noir by Armani Privé, but do check this out if you haven't smelled this already. Beautiful, dark, rich, and lactonic as well. Very, very creamy. Queer Noir by Armani Privé. And finally, at number five on the list, coming in from the house of Memo Paris, this is Oriental Leather. Wow. Wow. This is very niche, very challenging, but very beautiful at the same time. A very handsome fragrance. I do think this is another sleeper. A lot of people like to talk about Memo Paris African leather, Irish leather, Italian leather, ocean leather, Russian leather, but no one talks about Oriental leather. This is a sleeper. Very, very amazing photorealistic impression of desert meets Spice Bazaar Market. That's exactly what this is. You have leather, a very earthy undertone patchouli, and then you get cumin, coriander, allspice, nutmeg, all these hot spices that give a very sweaty experience mixed with a very, very dry and dusty leather and suede. Extremely phenomenal. And the artwork of the bottle gives a perfect representation of the aesthetic of the fragrance itself. If you haven't seen it before, this is the artwork of the bottle, which is also seen on the box, but very beautiful. This is wearing a leather jacket, taking a leather jacket, burying it in the sand, and then you cover it with just a bunch of spices. Very beautiful. Again, photorealistic impression of a matrimony made in heaven, of a desert and a spice bazaar market absolutely gorgeous i do recommend this it's one of the more challenging fragrances in my collection but nonetheless it is beautiful well done absolutely well done if you haven't checked it out check it out this is oriental leather by memo paris all right guys and that's my top five leather fragrances for december 2023 i do hope you enjoyed the video if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe and if you are a new subscriber welcome to my channel please subscribe Philip Carter X Official is my Instagram account where I post more about menswear, men's style, men's skincare, and of course, perfumery. As always, everyone, thank you very much for watching today. Philip Carter X Official, out.